Hey everyone, I want you to do something for me. Imagine a family with three kids, not only three toddlers, but a mum and a dad. This isn't an 1800s novel with a miserable story about three orphans. This is the miserable story of their father. Their father has a 9 to 5 job in a company near his house, a nice American family. But does his life have a purpose, a reason, a meaning? Have you seen the movie Soul? It indicates that the point of life is trying to do something you love. Then what's the point of life for the people who don't choose arts or sports or just something they love? What's the point of anyone's life as a 9 to 5 job? Don't get me wrong, there are some people who love their full time jobs. It's their passion and something they walk towards their whole life. But I can speak from experience, I don't think their number is a lot. As in a study from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York found that only 27% of college graduates work in a field related to their major. So if they don't love their jobs, what do they love that is the purpose of their lives and can make it worth living. I think it's the family they make and their kids. Their kids are just a glimmer of hope in their lives. I feel like maybe, just maybe, if my life was meaningless, maybe my kids life will be something different. I don't want to sound more pessimistic here, so all I'm going to say is that I hope it will be different for them. But let's say you have something other than family that you really love doing, like making music, but the chances of you making consistent money out of doing those things is really low. And even if you love it at first, your rent and your life will overcome your love. Give me a rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! The point of life is doing what you love, don't get me wrong, but it won't certainly make you happy. It will just make you fulfilled. There might come a time in your life when you think you finally got it. You found your passion and some activity that you can love with your heart. But maybe your love wasn't pure. Maybe it was the sort of love that Hitler shared with Poland. Nowadays, every 12 year old wants to be a YouTuber. But can you say their love is pure? No, he's just lusting over the dream, peddling over his concupiscence, his licentious desires, and he has to be rinsed with some hard hitting facts. Move your sins away! Take the YouTube example for a minute. If you seriously pursue YouTube, uploading your best Call of Duty clips, your whole personality, of course, will burn out through the time in your career. That's why one of the few people on this platform, Mr. PewDiePie, who survived this long on YouTube, didn't stick to what was working for him at the time and took big risks as he changed with his audience. Most of us haven't found what we truly love, and I think finding it is just pure luck. Really, we're not lucky. Do you think it's a coincidence that most athletes have an athlete parent? My dad is straight evil, he's a mafia boss. To love something, you just have to be influenced by someone you love or look up to. If it wasn't for one of my high school friends, I would never get so much into movies to an extent to change my profile pictures to some screenshots I took from the recent movies I liked. It's completely by chance and random, and it has to do a lot with the current trend in the world. That's why I have a lot of TikTokers who think this is it, this app is their lives, and maybe one more viral video would buy them a ticket into the clouds. You're famous for being gay, Frank. Think about all the kids in the 60s who wanted to get into Kung Fu because of Bruce Lee. Or all the kids in 2008 who watched Kung Fu Panda and wanted to be a panda. I don't think they're simply true love for anything. There just has to be an influence so strong that can really make you believe that life isn't pointless. And the rest is on how smart you are to be deluded only by the fancy and sophisticated looking ones and not by the obvious ones. Now let's talk about a big factor in our decision making money. If you're above the age of 7, you should probably start worrying about the concept of money, how you should make it, how you should spend it, and how to approach prostitution when you run out of it. Uh, yeah, I'm a prostitute now. Let's talk about prostitutes now. Why have so many porn stars killed themselves? Do you think it was because of a perhaps sudden shame of their actions out of nowhere? I don't think so. I think it's because they believed money can bring happiness. And when they got it, they saw how empty their lives was. My point is, money isn't an answer, but a necessity. So what I talked about now is an example of when there's money in what you do, but there isn't any love. But what if there was love? No money. Louis C.K. has this bit on why dancers choose the worst possible career path they could find. Yeah, dancing is really inspiring to watch when somebody, you know, it's a terrible uh, life choice. It's the dumbest, <laughs> it's the worst career choice. You're saying dancing is a terrible career choice. It's you like worst, watching it, but you think it's a terrible it's career the choice. Worst available career choice. <laughs> What are, what are you it's talking huge, about? A massive amount of dedication followed by giving up. That's what FDA all have to do. <laughs> because what nobody, are you talking there's about? like three dance jobs on the planet Earth. <laughs> and there's no second tier. Like any other, even a musician, even being a musician and not there, what are you doing? Don't be a musician. That's a stupid thing to do for a living. <laughs> but, but if it doesn't work out the way you want it, 
You can look at these, you've got these guys here. <laughs> What makes this clip even funnier is that Kenan got rid of the band eventually. But if you think about it, he's kinda right. If you choose to be a dancer, there's a high chance of you being miserable in the next couple of years into your future. But at least, you'll be a miserable guy who loves what he does. So rap in these last few minutes, you get what my point is. If you want to be happy in your life, you have to do what you love and make some money out of it. But the upcoming question really fucks everything up. How much money is enough? Well, let me answer this question with this picture. Take a deep look. You know who this guy is? Well, he's the founder of M&M's. He created fucking M&M's and nobody gives a shit about who he was. Now work out the chances of you being recognized after you die. What the fuck can you do that can compete with M&M's? And even if you think about someone who we all know, like Edison, you actually give a shit about my boy Thomas. How many times of your year do you think about Thomas Edison? Our lives mean nothing. Nobody gives a shit. You're the least important person on earth like everyone else. We're just a cluster of nobodies thinking we are somebody. So just live your life as you like and try to not get homeless doing it. Here's your post not slash gist clarity. If you enjoyed this video, I have more videos like this. So check them out and maybe subscribe because I like it when people do that. It tickles my happy bone. Adios.